What's favorite tune in LP you got you pick up? Uh, I'd say either the track with uh, MC Focus. All um, right, 1985 guy here. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love 1985. <laughs> And we're on. Welcome, welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Last Week Liquid Podcast. Today, I have the pleasure of sitting down with Eugene, better known as Black Barrel. Eugene is a drum and bass producer out of Russia, with releases across the likes of Sofa Sound, Metalheads, and Dispatch. He is also the man behind the alias Leo Cap, where he focuses mostly on dubstep and other 140 heaviness. You can catch his latest release, his second full-length album titled Just Keep My Life, out now on Dispatch Recordings. Eugene, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm all right. For people uh, listening just on the audio version of this, uh, Eugene just put on a second cap on his head, which is Yeah, uh, I'm going to play this. <laughs> I'm gonna play with this uh, um, on a Nevika stage like Leo Cap, so yeah, it's nice. a special one. How are, how are you doing, man? How are things in your life at the moment? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, working on the music, some future projects, you know, how, how it goes usually. So step by step doing something. Yeah. You, yeah. Were, tell you were telling me just before we started recording that you're still waiting on your visa for, for yeah outlook. man it's be a scary moment for me because of such a good even such a special and like it happens again we just uh, like asking visa i think three weeks before flights it's too late i think mm -hmm. we should speak about this early more early than now i hate mm -hmm. when it happens like so but all right yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I, the guys from, um, like the visa agencies, they told me like, "Oh, be fine. Don't worry." So tomorrow, probably the day after, I will get my passport. So I'm believing miracle. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Fingers crossed. Ha have Have you had a Have you had issues with like visa or stuff like that in the past when you're you're traveling for for gigs and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a couple cases. Uh, yeah, for sure. How without it? Yeah. Well, I got um, the one interesting case was cancelled visa in uh, Bristol. Uh, it was uh, 2019, I think. Yeah, probably about October. So I come in, in the UK for a plane for a gig in a Bristol with a tourist visa, which I use it before for uh, any gigs uh, for UK. And it's because it's more cheaper than artist visa because yeah. artist visa costs like probably uh, 500 pounds uh, per two gigs, which is pretty expensive. And at the yeah. same time, the tour, oh, the one important thing about it it's just like two gigs yeah like it can be like the one or two weeks here and in the same time tourist visa costs like 100 150 uh, pounds and it's like for six months <laughs> yeah so yeah but you're not supposed to work that's the yeah 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 for sure for sure but actually uh we can come in on some events even with this visa but just it's it's so so interesting moment need to be sure about everything here but you know they get my ass with like i was shocked because they asking me like oh man i can tell you this story it's it's not yeah, so long it. but yeah so i come in in bristol um around uh, early morning probably yeah so i'm not sleeping um and they asking me like the board in force uh, asking me uh, like how many days he and I say like the two days and they asked me show the back flights I show in them back flights and they told me like you fly back tomorrow so it's one day I say like technically it's like two days <laughs> today and tomorrow yeah because it's only it's the day only begin uh, you know and they start checking everything. Like he start record every single word, and 
then he called to police the coming two two women coming and and start checking me like probably it was like six or eight hours interview about everything really yes before um before they get all my things like my camera my all my stuff for checking i i got like this um uh these earphones and two flash drives which is already looks like dj yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the sync was on my flash drive i got like the um, like special text is like black barrel my phone number my mail maybe i will lose it or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. this and we speaking about all the shit what they will check my stuff right now and i was in a in a like a dispatch hoodie with a pocket in the middle my hands was with a flash drive in the middle so we speaking with the with the guys and I, I trying to stick off this, uh, you oh, know, the, the name of the, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so mad with it. And like, I'm, I'm trying to lying pr probably around six hours. They take my DNA, they take photo, they take the fingerprints two times. Uh, I was fucked up with everything there, and after all shit, they 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 tell me like, God bless you. You're not spy, you're not killer. You just you just yeah. You just need to speak with immigration because you now you got some troubles with it. And I say yeah yeah okay. And the thing was they canceled my visa, but they they give me opportunity to go to city on one night, uh -huh. and it was. Uh, extremely unbelievable situation because uh, you know they just cancelled my visa and I go to city like what but they still leave you there like <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and they said like your your friends waiting you and yeah just go and hanging out together because That's nice you know all this situation it's probably fucked you so yeah you can easily back at the morning and fly back and I say Okay. all right why not so yeah crazy story because i also have a geek on next day in a, like star wars in the bedroom and yeah, they yeah. canceled my flight so the you know after a couple tricks i i, I got my I, I got my um flights to to brussels so yeah i did a couple tricky things for it because i said like I don't understand what's going on. I'm a Russian and start to start yeah. to speak bad on on English, and it was easy way for getting my <laughs> flights to Brussels because we have some transit flights uh, via Amsterdam. So after this shit, I know some something about travels. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I even used this. Um, this picture of cancelled visa for my cancelled tp for for the artwork oh, yeah yeah yeah. so okay. yeah yeah it's real passport we just changed a couple things there and yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's real yeah, story. that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah 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 i <laughs> like, think it's real yeah, yeah taken from like real life real life situation that's pretty cool. yeah and another shit was happens so uh, when i got to in new zealand so at first when we start playing in tour um all was fine with the flights and visas and my agent tell me uh, told me like oh you don't need a visa for uh, new zealand we have special paper and then two weeks before flights he told like man you need a visa <laughs> 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 like i was fucked up with with this shit definitely so yeah. i even miss my flights or when i'm fly to new zealand uh, from australia and then we call to one guy, um, we give some special, uh, some special status for my, um, I forgot how, how, how it's called, uh, for my application mm -hmm. for a visa. And I got visa like next two hours and mm -hmm. I was like, wonder it, why we, why we don't do this before because yeah. i have seven days in australia so we're waiting nothing well i think i hope that's all about this yeah <laughs> because i don't want to repeat everything of it yeah hopefully it 
it goes well with with Outlook because that's a, oh, man, a huge facility. Man, really. Play. I ho- I hope God blessed. Mm. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's it's crazy because like in uh, obviously I'm I'm European and when we travel in Europe, it's so easy. We don't even think about visas or borders. I you know, understand. it's like you're quite lucky with it. Yeah, yeah, we just move around and okay, if you go to Asia or something, then you need visas. But often, like for even for a tourist visa, you don't really need a visa. You just go yeah, there. Yeah, Russian people have different rules for it. Yeah, it's it's. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, man. For but, this uh, reason, I want to get some different passport from different country, maybe somewhere mm-hmm. in Europe. But it's so hard to get it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Many, many ways how you can get it, but every every single way it's hard, pretty hard. So we'll see. Maybe someday in the future we'll do this. We'll see. Yeah. Who knows? You, you, you'd probably have to like actually move and live in the country to get a, a passport, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, it happens with some of uh, our Russian artists. Uh, I mean, he he got this. It's not passport, but it's like the special um, visa where he can live in the UK. So Ian, I got it, and he can live like five years or something like this. Mm. Then after this, you can easily get the passport if you will. Okay. You know. Yeah, pass some tests okay. so you can do it. I think it's possible, but just need lots of documents for it. Yeah. And you know, I'm a bit, bit worried about my family, so it's quite hard to keep yeah. all these things together. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm just, fine. you know, not worry about this. But I'm stuck with visas, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How like besides visas and, and traveling, how does it feel to be doing events again? Uh, I guess you, you started over I, some I, I still didn't get it. I still don't know what is it because the last international gig, like, like where I will speak English, I don't know. It was, it was my tour in New Zealand. Yeah. I'm just only back in March of 2020. Uh, oh, I'm okay. back in March. Yeah. And wh- when I'm back, all world was on lockdown so i was quite yeah. lucky for having tools there at this crazy time so after this time i completely forgot what it's mean so i don't know <laughs> i can say nothing oh, so you, about so you it. actually haven't you, you haven't played internationally since no since i'm March playing and... i'm playing around russia i haven't was like in okay. ukraine but i'm not saying like ukraine it's something international because we like same peoples yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. we're speaking russian and yeah, i'm not yeah, feeling yeah. they're like like in europe yeah, yeah, yeah. how how yeah. is it um that was like one of my questions how is it different playing like russian crowds versus english or european um, crowds I What's think the, the Brahman based culture pretty same in everywhere in the world because we got small parties and uh, big parties as well sometimes happens here in Russia. Not so many, but sometimes it happens and it, it can be like a couple thousands of people like the big festival somewhere in Europe or in the UK. But think is uh, just probably in the UK, it's more often than here because, you know, the cultures are mm. more more strong than here in Russia. We're trying to push it how we can, but we we see like the people's, I don't know, the people sometimes, um, if you do this events quite often, they are tired from it. So mm. you can be sure about anything here. And this is main reason why we don't have so many events here because mm. You know, you're doing it, you pay your artist and, you know, you pay rent and some stuff and then you have nothing, have a yeah. minus or something like this. So not so many people really do do some parties. Locally, we do. Yeah, but like we want to get somebody from UK. We are already start conversation. We have here the small community, couple small communities in my city. And we planning to uh, get the Peter archive for uh, Russia first time. So maybe we will we will try bring him this year if it's possible. Mm-hmm. But you know we we want to show the Russia to other artists as well. We want to bring the same level with the culture. But mm-hmm. it's hard. It's hard because not so so many promoters have money for all this because you need a paid fee for artists and it's quite expensive because it's not Russian rubles. It's pounds, mm-hmm. and it's 
like triple time expensive for us. But anyway, even with this, we we planning to get somebody here in Russia. Maybe I also thinking about maybe a label in the future. We'll see. Maybe some small community around. Mm. So we're trying to keep it as we mm. can. Yeah. Do Do you feel like the the drum and bass scene is is like growing in Russia since you've been doing it, or is it kind of just kind mm. of stable? Or what's your feeling? I'm feeling like definitely we have more involved people, probably, I don't know, like that just, you know, I come in, in, in this culture here, um, about 2012, probably. Mm. And I see the different on the scene, but if I will speak with the guys who made this culture here more early, they will say it like now it's die. <laughs> So even because they told like the back in the days in 2009, for example, uh, or maybe more early, the clubs was like full every yeah. weekend. And the funny thing, I just spoke with the guys everywhere in the world and they told me same. So in Europe was completely same situation. So it seems like, you know, Uh, for me, it looks like we have a more, definitely more artists b because now with the software and all this program shit, it's more, it's easier, you know, yeah. yeah, it's more easier than back in the days for making music. Now everybody can do it. Mm. Uh, and we have definitely more involved people's like artists in, in, a, in a culture, but with the listeners, it's, it's different situation. It's, um, I. I don't know, like about growing, probably it's not growing. Maybe we, we're trying to keep save the same what it was back in yeah, the yeah. days. It looks like so. I'm not see growing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of the same. Like I speak sometimes with um, American drum and bass artists and in America as well. It's it, they're from what they're, they're telling me, it's definitely growing, but it's still a small scene compared to other Electronic also, we, 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 we need to keep in mind this thing about cities. So different cities have different listeners. And mm. in same time, I know about America, uh, Los Angeles, more progressive city with the music. They have a drum and bass community. So they have some parties mm. and dubstep as well. And the thing is that some, somewhere else, the different cities of United States, uh, probably don't have some drum and bass community or, or they have, but too small or yeah. something like this. Here is the same in Russia. So a couple big cities have some communities and we have some parties, but you know, if we will get the old Russia, it looks like nothing. Yeah. And <laughs> actually it looks like really dying culture, but yeah, you know, we're it's pushing just be it because we love it. It's just because the country is huge and, uh, Like yeah. the, dis the distance between cities is so big. It's a bit, a bit like the US, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is true. This is true. Yeah. We have some, some different communities, even with a long distance, but you know, it's not so often how I said before, Yeah. but yeah. some of the guys in Russia make lots of things was a, was a culture. Mm -hmm. So we got the one guy, um, he, now he's label owner of data music, Russian label. And, uh, this guy, his name is Yura, Yuri, uh, traffic. So his name, his nickname traffic and traffic back in the days was the biggest promoter, I think in Russia, because he got so many names when he was studying, uh, in New Zealand, he, after this, he, you know, he's searching some culture things. He opened some artists listening to this music. Uh, learn all this stuff about drum and bass. And when he back in Russia, he, he got Kalex and TV, like the Concord down. And I don't know how many artists he bring on a uh, parties, but he, he got lots of artists there mm. and it's one of the biggest things in Russia happens. So mm. yeah, somebody doing something here, but now it's not looks like mm. so much like back in the day. So yeah, man. Yeah. And r r like right now, would you say maybe like is dubstep more, more popular? Like if you play here you play in the Russia, here yeah, in, in the Russia. Russia, no dubstep, it's more smooth and drum and bass. Oh, really? 
Yeah, really oh. so. I thought it would yeah, have been yeah, the, yeah. the other way around. <laughs> the, yeah. Maybe the, from my side, it looks like maybe like the same um, same number of listeners sometimes okay. in the clubs. Maybe it can be more than in drum and bass, and drum and bass can be more than dubstep. But in general, it looks like same, the nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's crowds. It's just... Like, obviously, it comes from the UK, so when you go to the UK, it's going to be huge crowds and lots of people because that's where the music came from. So it's... You know, I, I got the think about UK after first, um, after first time. Like, I was I was quite lucky with the first time in UK because um, first time I got, like, like, maybe one or two weeks for uh, just... Uh, you know, playing, traveling and seeing some different things. And the first time I come in, in London and I'm playing uh, with the Sustance uh, in a borderline. So Need for Mirrors and Bailey guys, Shoes to guys. Mm. Um, yeah, we're playing at this party, Soul in Motion in London. And I was seeing like probably 200 people, maybe more. I can remember sure. On uh, next day I'm playing in the Bristol and we got also around 200 people. Then we playing in Brighton and there was, I think more or less than 200 people, maybe 150 or maybe more or less, I don't know. I was shocked because, you know, um, I'm playing with the, with the comics and Scar and so, so many such legends there. Yeah. And between, between Brighton and Bristol, we also come in uh, in um, print works, yeah, 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 and it was uh, the biggest party which I seen. Uh, return to jungle uh -huh. was chasing status, oh, yeah, wow. and we was there inside with a rundle, shoots to rundle, yeah. So it's it showing me the different different things in the UK, and I. Uh, yeah, I just watching like it's gonna be same like here in Russia. It's gonna be more bigger. So I know we, we, I know the UK got some small parties as well. So yeah, yeah, it's normal for every every single country. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's still a uh, it's still underground. Like there's the big yeah the big definitely names, underground but, music. Yeah, yeah. Most of it is still underground. It's not gonna be like stadiums unless it's like NDC or something. The rest is very uh, underground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this this it's so interesting like the guys from 90s they make things they're like gangsters you know yeah. like if you're from 90s you 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 probably you can don't have a lot of releases maybe even not releasing your music but you're still famous mm. and now for a young people who are trying to get some positions on the scene you need a fucking i don't know you need to sell your ass for yeah. uh making some gigs for uh, making your name uh every everyone trying to get hype uh mm -hmm. with everything and it's quite a hard to get good position so what's the secret we need back in a time in a time machine maybe back in the 90s and do something <laughs> there for getting some more famous or what we need to do for it if somebody know Call just it. direct me yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'd say you're doing pretty good because you have a lot of gigs, a lot of releases, but... Uh, I try yeah. my best, Mo. I'm, I, I, I'm really working hard for it because the couple of years I'm, I'm working like a devil, bro. Mm. Like 24 per 7 days I'm working a lot on the music. So, yeah, man, I, yeah. I, I'm really working hard for it. So... I know sure like every fucking gig w which I get, I get it because I'm working. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Let's without uh... any hype things. <laughs> I, I, I work hard for it. Yeah, yeah. But that's the that's the only way you get things, is just like working hard, putting in the time and then good things yeah. happen. But uh talk talking about releases, let's talk about your, your album that just came out uh a few last week i think or a few Make days things. ago yeah the official date will be four days after so 10 september is official days for all platforms okay yeah. It's, uh, we, yeah we got early release for Beatport. Beatport and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and spotify yeah. as well so uh so, yeah just keep my life tell me about it how did it come together 
what's the concept? Because I know you like to put concepts behind your albums and your yes, EPs and all for that. For sure, for sure. That's why I'm why I'm like Barrel. I'm doing some <laughs> conceptual stuff. Yeah. So um, we got we got exclusive deal with uh, Dispatch um, on a uh, one more LP after this second one. So when when I got the first LP uh and uh, offering me be like exclusive artists so i don't have a uh, solo releases on any other labels i can do remixes maybe some futurings um but yeah two more lps and i say like all right i i love the dispatch i love place where i'm releasing my music because i got the full freedom for stuff how you can hear it yeah because every release can be really really different um well yeah i got this offer and i say yes all is cool i'm fine with it so when when yeah after lp i got the small break with it so i did a couple singles and aps it was the good time for traveling as well because after first lp i got many gigs in europe sometime uk as well and my new zealand tour as well it was really good well after this i'm back after new zealand and start doing the second lp it was amazing because um we got the lockdown and uh, my daytime job like office was um almost stopped mm. which is doing all shit um from home yeah. and it was amazing time for music because i have a lot and after tour after um, all these travels i really tired from it so it's it was the best time for uh, making lp mm. i think the many artists doing lp in this time so we will see in the future many many of lps so mm. well yeah i started doing lp with a full of love because i'm back home with my children and wife was around it's so lovely atmosphere and also i'm be tired from this dance floor shit. <laughs> so you know because it was too much and now i'm thinking like <coughs> I need to do something special, something melodic. I want to show my love to peoples. Uh, I want to show my love to my family. Mm. And I want to do this uh, through the music. So I start working on it like nine months probably after I got the full LP. So it was amazing work because every day I'm doing like what I want. And mm. all nine months I doing I was fr free completely with every single idea mm. and I just, yeah, just working on it was pretty happy because we're sitting at home, do nothing. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I'm working a lot on it, but yeah, yeah, but I, you're free I, I'm to waiting, work I, yeah, to. I'm waiting this time because I can work on the music, yeah. which is amazing. Well, yeah, I did the LP waiting one more year and now you can hear all this process all this stuff it's amazing because yeah. because i put there so many love i put there all my soul and mm. you can hear it because yeah. it's different it's different like me so definitely yeah, makes sense to hear it <laughs> yeah it's it's definitely like if when, I, um, wh wh when i listened to it for the first time i was quite surprised because it's very melodic very liquid very vibey so quite different from the the stuff you would do before um and uh yeah i was just wondering like how you decided to to do more liquid stuff like were you were you never like maybe scared or like wondering or oh, will people like it because it's not like heavy dance floor or bangers you know <laughs> yeah i know i know the what i can say about it like the mac area was start from liquid stuff if you mm. can back to early releases you will hear the liquid at first yeah, yeah. i got some dance floors sometimes for but i you know i a long time thinking about the liquid music because i'm doing so many so many dance floor music and 
yeah when i'm back after tour i was thinking like now it's good time for this because i already got skills i i can realize it more better than back in the days yeah and also i need it i need this music because i need some more liquid i love liquid music mm -hmm. i love jungle music uh which i focus now more than more than ever mm -hmm. uh because um the story about jungle um sounds like when i got my first computer um somebody who set up the system you know this like engineer guys somebody i don't know who is it but i'm so thankful to this guy he saved the uh, one folder with a uh, 10 tracks mix mm -hmm. uh, it was called the folder called night experience and there was um the guys like the KMC Apollo 440, um, um, who was there also. Oh, fucking hell, I can't remember, but it was like the full jungle, atmospheric yeah. jungle stuff. Yeah. Like a sample uh, pack. Uh, what? Like a sample pack or actual tracks? Uh... It's tracks, but okay. if you will listen every single tune, they start to mixing with end uh, in in end of the every tune. Ah, okay, so yeah, like, like a mixtape. Yeah, 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 it's like splitted mixtape. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and this this thing really impressed me because I never listened same. I was I I I don't know what is it, and the thing was like, I got this music inside me inside my brain before I got knowledge about genre. So I don't know what is it, but I start to listen it and I'm pretty love it. Mm -hmm. So now after 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 so such a big experience with it, I know it's a jungle music. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it, I can easily create this kind of music because I'm growing up with this style mm -hmm. and I know how it must sound like yeah <laughs> i know how to do this so i'm so thankful to this guy like pretty yeah. appreciate what he's doing it's a one of his best action in life definitely <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't know it <laughs> i hope he will if he will i want to meet him <laughs> he changed yeah. your life but but i wish i wish him best best mm. everything best in in his life so yeah I'm focused now on this music, so for future projects, I'm going to use this skills because mm. I pretty enjoy this old atmospheric jungle, like, like 94, 95 golden era of atmospheric jungle. Mm. So yeah, you will listen. I already got a couple tunes. Uh, I already got the Evan couple more in a uh, second LP. So one of them called More Love. And one from Sampler, Sampler exclusive, it's called I Love You. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this couple changed the show in this atmospheric jungle. And now I'm focused on this music more than ever. And nice. I want to back to it for a future releases. Definitely. We're nice. preparing some stuff. We got three tunes, um, ocean orgasm and mental keys. Now it's nice. the names for uh, this tunes it's 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 unbelievable it's uh, it's really beautiful it's one of my best works after it's, op it's it's crazy you've just put out an album and you're already thinking like next eps next tracks yeah for and... sure for sure we have like the i think like the one year for future releases mm. because you know every time when you sign some stuff on the label you're waiting yeah, 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 I got yeah. some interesting thing with the label about my exclusive, so I can move my releases at front if I want. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if I don't like this guy, I can say like, <laughs> push him back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not looks like same, but you know, I I can I can do if I want to push something, I can ask Ant about this, and yeah, yeah, this yeah. one I'm pretty appreciate because if you need something like it's like politics, you know, and you yeah, got yeah. some connections with it. Yeah, so yeah. if you need some, if you need to push yourself now, you can do it, and it's amazing. I really appreciate it, really. Yeah. Shoots but... to TC one. <laughs> Big up if he's listening. Yes, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's true. Like even uh, I've 
a lot of people have told me this before that uh, in music, even though the music is the most important, it's also the people that you know and the connections you have. And that does like, that's a big part of being a musician as well, even though we Yeah, man, <laughs> that's what I got after the years in the drum and bass culture. If you have some connections and you're really not a bad guy, I mean, you're really thankful and really doing what you want and doing it with love that all doors will open for you yeah. that's just a fact it yeah. i think it's fact about the real life or everything if you're really low in what you do the people's will help you with that so yeah yeah, yeah i feel in it i feel mm. in this support from people and mm. that's amazing I want to say huge thanks to everybody who support my music yeah, yeah. Really yeah, but honestly, it. that uh, that album is is really good. Like, I've really enjoyed it because uh, I'm more of a liquid type of guy. I like to listen to my music at home, like headphones. Yeah, how, how cold are your podcast? Sorry? How cold are your podcast? How cool? What's the name? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Last Week Liquid. Last Week Liquid. Yeah. So it's... So it's show how you're low in this music, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mostly... I guess mostly liquid artists, but sometimes I invite guests that are more Some dance hard floor. Hard funk. Exactly. Artists. Like <laughs> harder <laughs> artists, yeah. Um, All right. But yeah, no, your LP, like I really enjoyed it. And uh, one of the things I was wondering, yeah, is that like now you're saying that the next projects will be more like jungle focused. Do yeah. you ever think like it's uh, it's like a risk of doing like too many different genres and your fans will be like... Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking about this when I growing up my career mm. and I was really cared about every release because yeah. I know like my geeks depends from my releases yeah, and it's yeah. just a fact about scene. But I don't even remember the couple of words about like... It was sounds like why are you doing LP? You can easily do EPs and some getting some gigs, and it will be more easy. But I think the LP showing your it's like good picture. It's showing your current level. Yeah. And if you have the special idea like concept, you can easily to do it if you want. I want. I doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, about LP, uh, what I'm gonna say, um, so I don't care completely about uh, like different different stuff here, yeah, yeah different yeah, styles yeah. because I think the different style will show more who I e mm. because you can try to show people how you can express yourself here in this yeah, in this yeah, genre yeah. in this kind of music and. I think you can do different stuff like, yeah, I can do some rollers, liquid stuff, jungle, and then people can just uh, choose in one what they love more. Mm. And it's not only like the fortunes of rollers and some kind of, yeah, it can be different. Somebody don't like the rollers and they love in liquid, they can get the liquid stuff from my LP. Yeah, so yeah. somebody love in jungle or I have got a couple of jungle tunes. So I think it's a good when you have some different stuff. Yeah. Uh, I prefer to do some different stuff. Definitely. Yeah. And that's the that's the most important part is to do like stuff that you love first and that you enjoy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what I'm gonna say about it. At first, I'm doing all this music, all this music, all my music for myself. Yeah, yeah? yeah I man. love vibe, and I love this feeling when we got like I don't know how many people in the world, like maybe nine billions or something about it and now only me listening this fucking chain yeah that's amazing i think it's amazing because you can you can you can enjoy it for real you can listen and got so many pleasure from this music zen you sharing this vibe to mm. thousands thousands people and they love it and it's amazing because you're sharing your wife to uh, different peoples. And at first, yeah, I'm doing this wife for myself. So yeah. if somebody don't like it, I oh, don't worry. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, like, obviously, you have a longer career and it's stuff that you learn. But I know 
when I was starting and other people that start at the start, it's really hard to do stuff that you like. You you're doing more tracks that you think people will like and people will enjoy. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. thinking of the others first and not yourself. And it takes time to actually realize, okay, let, let me do first what I want to do and what I enjoy. And then if people like it, that's like a bonus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think uh, I do different because I know scene right now. So I need to do something for a scene, for a dance floor. Mm -hmm. And I will do this because I need to do this. Everyone yeah. who want to get some gigs, he will, who want to get some releases, who want to keep the name on a the scene, they must do this. So yeah. we do this stuff because we need it. Also, I love it. I love dance floor stuff and I love mm. hard dance floor stuff as well. Yeah. So I love the, you know, I love different kind of music. And this is the main reason why I just do different because I love all this kind of music. Yeah. So yeah, you can easily do it for people, for yourself, how you like it. Just do yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Talk about different styles of music. Tell me a bit about uh, your other alias Leo Cap uh, dubstep stuff. When, when was that before Black Barrel or or after? No, did you start that? just the one question for you uh, yeah. before we start about Leo. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you about like what's favorite tune in LP you got you pick up. Uh, I'd say either the track with uh, MC Focus. All um, right, 1985 guy here. But, <laughs> yeah, I love 1985. <laughs> either uh, that because one, because yeah. I was inspired by uh, by this label of Alex Pures when yeah. I got this chin. It was idea for his label actually. That's, that's like one of my favorite labels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I got offer from Ant for uh, yeah. this patch, and I signed all stuff there. But yeah. I was I was inspired by, by by this label, and I was thinking for getting released there. So yeah, it was ID inspired mm. by this. Yeah, yeah, I can I can see the the vibe. Yeah, you similar. can hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The vibe is similar. Yeah, I would uh, say e either that one I really enjoyed. Uh, Bad trip I really enjoyed, like a bit heavier, but I really enjoyed that one. And the title track I really enjoyed as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the sweetest, sweetest, just keep my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, yeah. it was, it was interesting. Why? Because uh, I think I can say I was pretty high when I did it. I, <laughs> I was so somewhere outside from this planet. So I was in a full of love. I'm mm. uh, feeling so well when I got this atmosphere from intro. You can hear like I completely swimming in the clouds. Yeah, yeah. And this war about this chin. Yeah, man. I also enjoy it. And my wife enjoy it. Nice. Yeah, it's very well, atmospheric. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for it. Thanks for it. Yeah. But, well, um, back to Leo, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So tell me a bit about Leo Cap and... Uh, uh, so dubstep stuff. Like, when did you decide to have like two aliases because that's i imagine quite a lot of work <laughs> to manage yeah man so i try to keep same level with production with the stuff uh and it was like parallel action in pandemic time i think i started well uh the first first things coming when uh, my wife uh gifted me this cap <laughs> original one we get it like um probably like five years ago in a thailand yeah and it's legendary thing how, <laughs> how, how, how would you describe it for people listening on on spotify how would you describe it it's like it's leopard snapback the yeah. pretty yellow very yeah, yellow. <laughs> very yellow she she gifted me he, uh, this thing and i said like what the fuck is it uh I don't want to swear it because it's too much. I looks like idiot in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, when we're back, it was here with me all time, but nothing special about, and when I meet the um, a Russian collective, the different community from South Russia, which called Dubro, they push in dubstep a lot, some dub vibes and some bass music as well so drum and bass as well so they they know in my name so we meet with the guys they um they booked me on their event we meet each other more good 
And then they ask me like, can you try doing something with 140 bits? And I said, why not? I can, I can try. So I got the first chain, which called Desert Viper. I think somebody, if somebody will interesting, let's check the Leo Cap Desert Viper. It's my first official release. Um, and yeah, when I'm thinking about the name, I don't want to get this black barrel name for 140 alias because mm. I already signed it exclusively on the label and it will look bad when I will use the same name. Yeah. Also, I don't want to, um, don't want to get the old tunes on the one name. I already got around 100 release tunes with a black barrel. Mm. So it's like, I start to forget in my name so of the tunes. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I decided to do a new name for it. And at this moment, in the front of my eyes was this shit, <laughs> this little part snapback. And I was thinking like, I needed something, something pretty similar, like the wild, something wild and yellow color was pretty wild with it. So I was focused on this snapback and thinking like the Leo like leopard cap sounds shit no leo cap leo yeah. is amazing and it's 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 pretty simple it's yeah. a little name and leo cap it's amazing it's All right. international yeah, yeah yeah and i got this name for it yeah, yeah and i got the first tune first release and they were so happy with this music because they so like it and then i decided like doing one one more tune maybe who knows what is it and the second tune which i did uh i signed it on the vinyl on the navy cut mm. and it was like like you know like just you know and i i got the pistols fucking hell jesus christ because i spent like one day for it bro it's it was so fast and so easy after drum and bass with all these skills you know, yeah, the yeah, right yeah. dubstep so easy after drum and bass <laughs> because we have lots of space here between bars and between elements and everything works well. So yeah, I started doing more dubstep, start to get the good positions because I got support from Deep Dark and Dangerous from Navicat at first. It was first label, first serious label where I'm signed, first serious international label where I'm signing my stuff. So we're waiting, by the way, for a coming release on uh, Navicat. It's Leo mm. Cap. It's going to be on vinyl. Two nice. tracks on a vinyl, four tracks in a digital. A Black Magic EP. And nice. yeah, it's amazing stuff. Still one of my better. Yeah. Well, one of my best. Um, and yeah, um, then I got released on Deep Dark and Dangerous. They support my music as well. Then the other guys from uh deep dark and dangerous squad and different artists from community uh start to respect me shoot at me playing some stuff support my music well now i'm planning to maybe get tour in the future in america because truth told me maybe no no maybe the dread told it will happen definitely mm. but just um need to find a good time for it maybe yeah. a bit after pandemic time i don't know I yeah. don't know. And now it's quite a hard, how I said before, I'm sucks with Visa. Yeah. And, the and, US is shit for and now for America, you know, because yeah. Russia and America with politics pretty sucks. And yeah. uh, we even don't have embassies here in Russia. Mm. They don't work here. And we need to go to different countries. So yeah. for it, you need to spend more money because you need to come like two times for it. The first time when you send your application, the second time you need to get interview, you need to spend like three thousand dollars for a working visa. There, like artist visa, spend it's a lot, bro. It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Uh, for this reason, I'm searching for some agency who will try maybe work with me. It was me because I'm I'm gonna do everything because yeah. I really want it and I will do everything every single action for it but i need to find the good right peoples who will yeah, yeah you yeah. know who will manage all my actions for it 
um, because I'm not sure it's so easy. I, I mm -hmm. definitely need some help with it. I can try to get some connects from promoters, but if I will organize all this tour by myself, definitely I will get some mistakes and yeah. it it's probably can be expensive. Yeah, and so, then you're, you're going to be stuck in customs for yeah, like eight hours or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get some troubles. I yeah. want to do just the real thing. Re really yeah, yeah, really yeah. perfect so yeah searching for some agencies about it for a leo cap because it's a new yeah. name and i already got massive releases yeah. so if somebody will interested <laughs> just direct me <laughs> yeah yeah if somebody has a visa agency <laughs> here is a russian guy who really want to work just to yeah. <laughs> find the right hands for it i i really i really want to work and yeah. everybody who work with me will will say it same like this this guy is burning he's firing he want to mm. work just yeah, yeah, let yeah. him work let him work yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but uh so yeah it's it's plans about it so working on this music like at the same time with the drum and bass and sometimes it's helping me um, you know don't be bored with the style so yeah. if i tired from drum and bass i just easily change it to different genre and that's, then go yeah, back that's it's what amazing I I was curious, like when you start writing a tune, do you decide like, oh, this is going to be drum and bass or this is going to be dubstep or does it kind of change depending on the mood or the atmosphere? Like, how does that work? Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be different. Uh, sometimes I can like show, you know, I'm sure about idea mm -hmm. and I need to do drum and bass and I will do this sometimes. Uh, it's can be different. Like I can start the, the drum and bass, and then maybe I can open dubstep tune. I don't know. And sometimes, yeah, it's just a mood thing. Yeah. Uh, but in general, I'm really sure about any of my actions, and I know sure like I need the dubstep tune. Oh, you okay. know in advance, yeah. <laughs> we got the fucking dubstep tune. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, 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 after it the years, it it's doesn't easily. Have... Yeah, it doesn't happen that you're sorry. It doesn't happen yeah. that you're like writing a drum and bass track and then you're like, wait, this would work a lot better in dubstep, and then you just like slow it down and. Um, don't, um, I'm don't do this usually because if I start to pro if I start project, usually I keep the same vibe. Mm. Uh, I'm don't changing it too much. Uh, yeah. I can change the snare or drums, but I'm not changing BPM. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But but it's interesting because I got so many drum and bass tunes and guys told me like just to change bpm it slow it down works <laughs> yeah. yeah just to slow down and i was i still didn't get it i need yeah. to try i need to try but yeah, i'm lazy with it yeah. for me like the looks more more easy way just to make a new tune mm. i don't know need it back yeah. to other stuff definitely maybe i will do some leo cap remixes on black barrel who that'd knows be, that'd i can be do this i even can do collab <laughs> some 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 140 VIPs of uh, of Black Barrel tunes that would be pretty. Yeah, cool. we we can do collaboration between Leo Cap and Black Barrel, yeah. <laughs> and when I will sign the contract with Ant, I will split the royalties on the 50, both 50. guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This guy, this guy will get the wheat. The Leo Cap will get the wheat. This guy <laughs> will spend money, uh, spend money for a family. <laughs> It's it's like two personalities within you. <laughs> uh, not so many, but um, you know they um they it's a perfect balance. It's it's mixed between between all this alias because the Leo Cap I think coming for a uh, for changing my life in a better side, uh, because Black Barrel is pretty serious artist which uh, keeping family mm. and pretty like family man. And Leo Cap is just a fucking crazy raver after these gigs, <laughs> and you know, and uh, also he changing my, how I said before, closes. Yeah, I'm looks yeah. pretty different with it right now, and the Leo Cap helped me with it because I'm looks like more bright, maybe more oh, yeah, yeah. crazy colors, and I love it. Like, actually, uh, I pretty love it. Yeah, pretty yeah, low, yeah, some yeah. different clothes, also some merch. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna ask you like a hard question. Um, hard. All which right. which which style do you prefer producing, Black Barrel or Leo Cap? And which one do you prefer playing live? 
The boss, because I, I love the boss. <laughs> boss and styles. you can't say both. <laughs> uh, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> all right, because you know it's it's different and it depends from from how I said before about producing. I'm really sure about every single action here. So mm -hmm. if I need drum and bass, I will do this. If I need dubstep, easily will finish the chin. With the playing, um, when I'm playing locally here, I every time playing both both styles. I'm okay. playing like if I got like one hour set, I'm playing like twenty minutes of dubstep okay. uh, because I I have like so many dub plates with a dubstep and so many dub dubs uh, dub plates with a drum and bass. So I need to check everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I also need to check, and sometimes I understand. You know. For example, uh, we got party, yeah, and I'm probably a third or a fourth DJ in lineup. I can be like headliner of it. And the four hours or three hours before me, the people's listening drum and bass. Yeah. They definitely tired from it. I mean, yeah, we all love drum and bass, yeah. but just, uh, yeah, maybe we will listen just a bit different vibe because we need a. Yeah, like, a bit of a switch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small switch for uh, chilling, for relaxing, and then we easily can back. Yeah. For a greatest drum and bass, so I think it's it's um, it works like so better than just playing one style, mm -hmm. and also because I can do it. Sometimes I asking, but every time asking people promoters, Is like, okay? can I play the dubstep just twenty minutes for it? If not, I was fine with it. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so so you still check like is it okay if I yeah play? yeah I'm yeah. still checking I'm not this kind of person who not asking I mean if people yeah, yeah. book me for a drum and bass yeah, for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. maybe they don't want to hear dubstep one yeah. second bro I haven't come in call yeah I'm here I'm good I'm fine all good fine. Yeah, no yeah 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 all's cool I love the sound of Russian I want to learn Russian yeah one yeah oh no I've... man. I, I know no, it's like man. impossible to learn. <laughs> it's just like a dream of mine one day. <laughs> um, it's interesting one, but it's hard to, uh, I don't know. I think the different peoples have different uh, understanding with uh, some linguistics. Uh, mm. So I definitely know it's hard. Uh, yeah. After European, we, Dave, uh, we have a different, different words and it, yeah, it's completely best. different mind. So yeah, everything's well, different. I it wish just you good luck with it, bro. If <laughs> uh, you I'm need some help, anytime you just call me. Yeah, thanks. One day, maybe if I have like a like no job, nothing to do, and I have like one year to learn. <laughs> and it. I will live in Russia. <laughs> yeah, I'll go in Russia and learn it. But uh, it just sounds really cool to my ears for some reason. All right. it sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah, you 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 can have my help definitely. Uh, yeah, that's kind. Um, there's a, w one last topic I wanted to ask you about, um, and is that that's your uh, your Patreon, because um, I know you run a Patreon where you provide like uh, teaching, I think, and dub plates and exclusive. Yeah, yeah, many many that, different contexts. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a bit about your Patreon. Like, when did you set it up, and what you what do you provide on there? Uh, well, at first, the most important thing. I save it all stuff from beginning, so I'm not sell it like twice, mm. uh, because uh, I start Patreon when we lose the gigs for the next couple of years, and I was thinking like if I will not doing it right now, I will die just yeah. <laughs> because you know uh, uh, because I start to getting money from gigs and it was really helpful to my family because mm. i have a daughter and i need a you know i need support here everyone uh my wife not working she mm. all the time was a kid so i'm only one person who working and with the gigs it was good mm. but without gigs uh just with a office job it was impossible just mm. impossible for me. I need to change job or or to get the second one for a normal life. Yeah. yeah, and when we lose the gigs, I was thinking like 
if I will not do nothing right now, we will die definitely. Well, I was thinking I already got some listeners, some supporters who know me, know my music, maybe some producers who like my style. And it was like the wave where many artists start their Patreon because hard times coming. Yeah. Well, I did it and yeah, I start to think and walk and push there. For sure it was, at first it was some dub plates, like the bootlegs and some kind of this stuff. Then I try to add some different tiers for videos, for some, yeah, tutorials and some kind of, uh, and also then just, uh, I added some couple different tiers for, uh, more exclusive contents, maybe some more future releases, like, you know, we already have some signed stuff and you can get it more early than like the couple months maybe before release maybe more early we'll see yeah. because um i believe in people uh, they support me and i think they can get the better stuff which you can give it them yeah. so yeah this kind of stuff like everyone i think i have a lot what well, i can say uh i i'm not comparing my patreon with different stuff with different pages but what well, i'm gonna say i have really lots of stuff and if somebody want to support me there subscribe um just um be ready for uh content there's a lot of really dubs. many <laughs> many many dubs many sample packs many videos it's like thousands uh hours yeah. <laughs> of, of videos or so i'm doing the recently I'm not doing the big tutorials right now. I'm just doing like pr pr production streams mm. where I'm, you know, you, when you easily can ask me something, how I do this and you should, I show an old process, how I work with the sound. So yeah, yeah. everybody can, uh, come on a stream, just, uh, watching all this, asking me everything. And then if somebody don't have a time on it right now, when I'm streaming the YouTube, save it, all this stuff. And you mm -hmm. can easily find this with the links on my wall on the Patreon. So all streams yeah. was there, all jokes was, uh, was there, <laughs> all my high, high lights was there. So <laughs> you can easily find all this stuff there. Yeah. So yeah, That's cool. enjoy the Patreon because Patreon giving me better life. Definitely yeah. was uh, such a great support from people shoots to everybody who support me there and just support me in my life. Yeah. Uh, I got the real next level of my life because I'm like, I'm not going to say like I'm getting super rich, but the now I can don't care about food you know for yeah, my yeah, family yeah. which is one of the That's important cool. parts yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and even cool. maybe getting something else so we um we can be more happy than usual with this support yeah, yeah, yeah. and this what i'm really appreciate for this reason i'm not selling this uh content twice because mm -hmm. um i really appreciate what people doing for me and yeah. i'm 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 gonna do best for everybody here yeah do, yeah. do you do, do you plan on keeping the patreon now that gigs are coming back or yeah I, I i still i still planning to keep it um yeah. because yeah because uh how we can say it on russian uh, i need to translate it <laughs> uh one second it's it's too interesting <laughs> i never said it in english but Is it like a a famous saying in Russian? Uh, something about... You have to say it in Russian first and then in English. <laughs> you quickly get used it to good things. Okay. And this level, this level of life definitely uh, changing my mind. So for sure, I want to continue to do this. Yeah, yeah. And also, I think it's... Um, kind of community things so people know me more close here on the streams mm. then also showing me their results with the stuff they showing me their production uh i can give them feedbacks about it and every everybody growing here yeah. uh this is the thing which i like also 
what I'm gonna say about Patreon, not just about money thing. It's like, uh, I'm not sure about this word, but it's like uh, discipline or yeah. it's correct. Yeah, discipline, because yeah, yeah. for me, it's like job. I need yeah, to do yeah, yeah. this. And it's really helped me to uh, improve my production he uh, skills just for myself mm. because I need to do something new. I need to get some yeah, yeah, yeah. some new ideas. I need to show people how I work with it and what they can do with it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we growing up all together here, and oh, that's super cool. I see we can continue to do this. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. I can you know because I trying to be like not so, uh, like. So, like, how I can say it again? Fucking hell. I need to learn more English words. <laughs> but um, I'm not so serious in these streams. So I'm just a real, real person there. Just yourself. And yeah. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I can be myself here, speaking about everything, about life, about my gigs, the funny situation. And that's what I'm talking about, like, community thing. Yeah. So, people know me. I trust to them and I love this connection. Also, yeah. we're growing up together, how I said before. So if they support me, I'm pretty appreciated. If yeah. not, all no pressure, you know, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's your money, it's your time. So mm. no pressure. Yeah. But this is just a fact. There's people who sign it. <laughs> who who subscribe and say they improve their skills definitely <laughs> it's proven i got many feedbacks <laughs> about it definitely yeah, yeah. now i think think that's about a, think about yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh i think that's a great place to leave it at i'm gonna slowly wrap this up uh really enjoyed this chat man it was great meeting you yeah First, man it was amazing it was amazing the next for, time you need to get the more funny questions something really like the weird question list like <laughs> the 10 super <laughs> weird questions for everybody uh i don't have really yeah i don't have weird questions in general i i next time i'll have some for you yeah man um, you need to get think about yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah before we shut off maybe let people know yeah upcoming projects you have uh where can they reach out to you online check you out all that stuff all right the couple of things which i want to mention uh it's um the first thing we got the recently interview we recorded one more interview a couple of days ago we just recorded with a video uh in this kind of style well, uh, they're planning to upload this interview about the middle of October and they're planning to do uh, maybe English uh, uh, version for it. Mm -hmm. And if it's so, just uh, yeah, watch this space because some, some of the we weird questions there and it's a really <laughs> interesting story, how, okay. I, how I guess. Also, um, just a future plan for uh leo cap so i'm planning to finish first lp of leo cap um before next year if all be fine i will do this before um uh next year april mm. we got locked dates probably forever locked dates on the label like uh 20 april 420 okay special ah, dates nice. for special guys for yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know g's yeah, all yeah. my g's know about i'm talking so yeah um so i'm planning to do um my first lp in a dubstep nice. yeah it will be uh i think the russian collaboration with the guys because we have a strong dubstep scene here strong i mean with the artists we have pretty talented guys and i want to bring everybody here in my lp just like connection lp or something like this it, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be look like the fortunes of solo and maybe all others maybe yeah. around 10 tunes will be like operation we'll see we'll see so i'm planning to do this also also one more thing it's about drum and bass so I find a different guy here in a, drum, in a drum and bass in Russia who made the amazing liquid stuff. And we planning to do new alias between oh, me wow. and this guy. Yeah. So we got the strongest ideas. 
uh, trust me, it's pure fire. Sick. And so uh, a third, a third when you is... when you will when you will see the amazing liquid <laughs> stuff and new name which you never know before, probably it will be uh, our project. Is this going to be like a secret anonymous project? Or... It's 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 still it's still secret and okay. it will be secret before before I think before some serious serious releases. We're gonna start from serious labels. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we, we definitely want to get some good positions there. And I decide like if we will get the gigs and all be fine with it, probably this guy, uh, will be traveling and we will just split money. I think it's okay. a good, it's a good opportunity for this guy for, uh, watching, you know, for yeah, looking yeah. on the world, because I already got some some gigs with a uh, black bear on probably future leo uh, leo cap gigs i already mm. got one international with the outlook yeah. so all all things only beginning and nice. yeah definitely in the future will be more more good music more interesting more professional so just um yeah if you really love in all this you know all this progress things uh, in a careers and you're watching and you're really you know loving the watching people just uh, follow me on instagram uh because uh, there is a more active social where i'm showing everything in my life so um watch this space because we're gonna smash it <laughs> <laughs> awesome <laughs> Yeah, yeah, awesome man. man. Thanks uh, for uh, this time. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure, amazing. man. I love it. I my love pleasure. it a lot. My pleasure. It was great having you on. Uh, best of luck with that new alias. Uh, I'm really curious and uh, yeah, looking yeah. forward to that uh, Leo Cap LP. That's going to be big. So uh, yeah, going to be big, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, pleasure, man. Thanks for your time and uh, all the best in the future. Yeah, wish you good week, bro. 